Learning objectives include use of gases for microbial control. And there is one uh, particular gas that we use very often uh, for sterilizing things is uh, uh, ethylene oxide. This gas is used for, as I mentioned, that there are various techniques, physical methods uh, uh, for eliminating microbes, but there are situations where we cannot use those, those uh, other means, physical means, like filtration was used for uh, liquid media. But, the, and, and, and I mentioned that when the liquid contains some damage, then some sensitive ingredient that could be damaged by heat, we use filtration. But what about if there's something uh, that is a physical object, uh, not a liquid, a solid object, and heat could also destroy it. So this gas, ethylene oxide, it's a kind of chemical basically treatment, but, but because this, this exists as a gas, um, so we can use um, many heat-sensitive it items for sterilizing them. We can use eth ethylene oxide. Um, those objects could include disposable plastic petri dishes and syringes and uh, many other medical supplies, uh, sutures and catheters, etc. It is a very strong alkylating agent, basically binds DNA and proteins. And when something binds to DNA and proteins, the DNA is not able to replicate, so that this would result in mutations and, and the bacteria would die, would not be able to replicate. There are other characteristics of the, uh, this gas, ethylene oxide. It, it, it rapidly penetrates packing material, even the plastic wraps. And there's a precaution. A very explosive uh, gas. Um, most of the time, we have to use 20% concentration, 10 to 20% of this gas uh, mixed with the carbon dioxide. Most of the time, but there are there is there is another chemical that that could be used uh, uh, with this uh, ethylene oxide, uh, but mostly the carbon dioxide is used. Now, of course, there has to be a certain concentration of this gas, and it has been noticed that humidity, some moisture is also needed, and there is also a temperature uh, which is uh, needed for uh, achieving complete sterilization with this gas. Time required is five to eight hours at 38 degrees Celsius. If the temperature is 38, you require this much temperature. Or this could be reduced to three to four hours, but the temperature has to be increased to 54 degrees Celsius. And the humidity has to be between 40, 40 to 50 percent. The, most of the time, the concentration that is used is 700 milligram per liter. So in summary, those objects, physical solid objects that are heat sensitive, um, they could be sterilized by ethylene oxide.